guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Also went to Tim Hortons and got some coffee. And if you hear some banging going on behind me, I got the dryer running. Okay, nothing too terribly exciting, but some things, some new stuff. Um, I did get a wash tub. I love these things for, oh, and a receipt for all kinds of stuff. This specific one, I'm gonna put ice in it so I can defrost my ice maker. Exciting, but I'll wash it first. So, tubs. This is new at my store. I've seen the cupcake holders. We've got a cake holder and this is a pie holder. What? I don't know that I would carry it like this, but I would totally stick a pie in here or a tart. You put the lid on and it can store in your refrigerator or if you're transporting it, it, the lid goes on, It's you know, it goes on just like the cupcake holder does and it turns. So like I said, I don't know that I would carry a pie in here by the top, but I certainly would put one in here for safety's sake. Now, let's see if the label comes off. It does. Um, so I'll wash this up and it'll be great for the holidays. I make um, sugar-free cheesecake and I could just make it in a pie dish because it's just for me. Nobody else will eat it. Um, I grabbed one of these thingies. This weekend, my condo community, I'm on the board of my condo. We are doing like a little cleanup weekend. We're going to go around, pick up trash. It's been, you know, the summer and um, make sure things are fresh going into the winter time. So we have some signs to paint. I believe um, we have a couple other things, but for picking up trash, this would be great. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna pick up anything heavy, but trash. So I grabbed one. I know Alex. I did give the boys treats. Oh, excuse me. Am I the only one having allergies? I mean, I feel like I always have allergies, but they're bad today. Um, and, oh, there's this is no specific order. I just was out and about at different places. Um, I grabbed these. I really enjoy this brand, the Diamond Cosmetics brand, but I got these for stocking stuffers because they're Christmas trees. And it says, you are made of magic. So I grabbed two, one for me and one for Sarah for her stocking. It's never too early to start. Um, I picked up two of these towel, a uh, two pack of these towels from the plus section. Um, however, I used one and this one's gotta get washed. I take them to pottery class with me and the $3 ones are a little better. I try not to use like my good, my good towels and stuff for pottery. Um, it gets clay and whatnot. Um, but I will tell you, these were really fuzz, fuzzy. So I need to wash this one. The laundry room is right outside of my bedroom. The laundry area. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I got some taco sauce. I don't know. It looked good. There's not a lot of carbs in it. And I like tacos. And it's Ortega. And I can just transfer it from here into a glass container. Nothing of that exciting. Oh, I found more socks. I couldn't remember if I got mac and cheese, so I grabbed a different one. And for the record, these are men's size six to 12. So these are a standard men's sock, but if you're a lady, you can wear them too. Um, hello, Kool-Aid. I know. And then I picked up Fruit Loops. These are all for my little nephew. He's graduating high school this year. And I usually just give him cash for Christmas. And so, but a little something. So I have an entire bag of fun socks. He can take them to college or not, whatever he wants to do. Um, yes, I reuse my plastic bags for kitty litter. Um, I grabbed a sheet of this sticky cork. Um, in my pottery class that I'm taking, I made a bottle with a stopper. And so I needed some cork when it's ready to put on the stopper. And I think this will be thin enough. If not, not a big deal. Um, also, I found a different set of these reflectors. They have different ornament shapes. The other ones were all round. This one has some of the pokey ones. So I thought, well, now I have two sets for my car so I can go down either side. 
I know. Um, this is not gonna be a long haul. I grabbed four packages of these. These are, which I'm surprised there's four in here. They're little burlap sacks with the um, jack-o'-lantern faces for Halloween. But I'm going to fill them for my team and put candy in them. And so I figured 16 should be enough because I think there's 15 on my team and a couple do not celebrate Halloween. So I grabbed four packs. Um, and these are nice. And I'm just going to fill them up with candy and tie them off and put them on their desk. We're going to have a little party on the 30th or 31st. I cannot remember. Oh, I brought all this in from the car. I'm donating a bunch of CDs and um, DVDs. I thought they were, no, CDs and games for my Nintendo something game. I don't even remember. We, um, but I also grabbed my Christmas DVDs and these are my favorite. Look at this one. It's all of the classics, digitally remastered. I love all these shows and I have a hard time catching them. So I bought this years ago. Here's the fun fact. I think this is, oh, and then this is a music CD. I need to find my DVD player. I don't know where it is. We have Elf, we have the Polar Express, which is my favorite, and we have the Grinch. These three movies I have to watch multiple times a season. And I was like, why are you donating those? I just grabbed them by mistake, but they were in the Dollar Tree bag. <sighs> oh, and Rocket Man. Gotta keep Elton John. So, if anybody knows where I put my DVD player, that'd be great if you could let me know in the comments below. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that really helps my channel grow. Um, oh, I'm kind of excited for this. It is a desktop fireplace. Stop it. I'm dying. Batteries are not included, so I cannot show you lit up because I don't have the batteries, but it's for my work desk. I know it is. I don't, I'm sure it does not put off any heat. Um, it's just, it lights up. Battery's not included. This is glass. It is plastic, but that's definitely glass. And I think it's going to look so cute. I'm going to put it on my desk and then I'm going to hang a stocking near it. And it was $5. They're bringing out Christmas. So I guess this is my first. No, it's not. The stick, the magnets were my first Christmas thing. But that is for my desk at work. And then I just have a couple more things and that's it. There's not been a lot of anything new at my stores. They're kind of just restocking the old stuff. I guess it's fine, but I'd like some new stuff. I grabbed two of these spiders. So if you saw my video of my front porch, I felt like I needed a little more. Um, and so what I did is I ran to the craft store. I needed some fiber fill and I got some clear like fishing lure and I'm gonna hang these from my ceiling on my porch. Cause my porch um, is covered. So I grabbed two. Now, if I want, I could like glue it together and hang it. So you really wouldn't have a back, but I'm okay with it if it gets backwards. Let's be honest, let's do our thumbnail. Oh, let's get that way. I'm the only one that's gonna see it most of the time. So I'm gonna hang these at different heights because I went with a spider theme on my porch. And I had been looking for like fishing lure, but I'm not a, a fishing line clear, but these are not heavy enough that I'm gonna need that kind of nonsense. So we're not gonna worry about it. I got this and I have seen a couple people hauling it. It is a sanding block. So you get your sheets of sandpaper, you tuck them in each end here where the line is, and then you, you sand stuff. And at the holidays, at Christmas, I love doing DIYs and I have an electric sander, but a sanding block, as long as it has some nice, like, hopefully it's 220 grit, but there is a ton 
in there. Let's see how many pieces we get. It doesn't say, oh, not 220. This is pretty harsh. Yeah, it's pretty rough sandpaper, but you get a fair amount. So what I will do is go get some 220. When I take signs apart and things, it's great to have that for, um, you know, smoothing your edges and whatnot. Crafting. I grabbed these. I'm, obs I'm obsessed with socks, but I know for myself that I like, you know, put it this way, the higher ankle. I don't like my shoes eating my socks. And so I like the, is that a hole? No. I like the ones, it's hard to see because they're black, but they're higher. Like, I don't know what they're called, crew. This is brand is Peds. Cool Max and Lycra. Uh, but you get six pair of black socks and who doesn't need a hundred pair of black socks for winter? And for um, when I work at my part-time job, I, I wear holes in my socks because I buy cheap, thin black socks. So these are great to replace. Um, and it doesn't matter what's on the toe. I just need to make sure that the tops are black to match my pants. And for $1.25, this is a great haul. Also, I went through my socks and all the ones I bought last year that I don't normally wear anymore or I haven't even opened, I am donating them to a good cause because they, one of the, the ones I bought were too thick. I don't like a really thick sock. Look what's back at my store finally. These have been out of stock. All the Russell Stover Sugar Free has been out of stock at my stores, I would say well over a year. And they're just now coming back. So I don't know what happened, but I'm excited. I mean, definitely not a good value. You get three pieces of candy for $1.25, but it is sugar-free and it's a nice treat for me to have. Um, I'm dying here. These are the Sponge Buddy or the Scrub Buddy brand sponges. I don't particularly care for this type of a sponge. I like the more absorbent sponge, but it's a fall leaf. I will put this right on my back, on my sink and just not use it. Or I mean, I might use it like to scrub dishes and stuff, but I don't like to wipe my counters. I don't feel like it absorbs the water back up. What? I know, I was so excited. And they had them in green maybe maybe green but it looked too much just like the regular green i wanted the orange so i'll put these on my counter on my sink in a little dish that i think i already have purchased from the dollar tree i know all right just a couple more little items um i think i got these last year but i can't remember but for thanksgiving these are fantastic food picks um, they're technically they're a cupcake pick, but they're very long. I use these for meat rolls and for olives and tomatoes, and I make little skewers and have fun little girl dinner. So you get a dozen, or no, I'm sorry, you get 20 in here, but these are the little wooden acorns. And I know I do have a different, but I didn't know if I had the acorn, um, acorn one, so... I picked those up. <gasps> Look what I found. I know. Am I putting a candle in here? Heck no. I want to make something and stick it to the top. But, I mean, come on. You know I need this in my life. Could I put a candle in here? Sure. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, it's a black cat. And that's year round at my house, people. And the last two things I picked up, I grabbed these. And they are circular wired, you know, decor for Thanksgiving. But in for cross stitching, I can mount a cross stitch behind it of any season that I want. And it's a good finishing tool. So I grabbed two. I can paint them. I cannot. Um, I will have to put them on some type of a form and... Um, get them round again they're a little bent but I grabbed these because I thought I had seen some other folks using them so you just kind of strip off all the burlap and stuff and then you cut a circle 
behind it and you can display your cross stitch. So I grabbed that because that's important. And then the last thing I got also for cross stitch are these goodie ouchless rubber bands. These are the big boys. If you got lots of hair, you need these. But I am gonna use them on my cross stitch again when I'm using a smaller hoop or I have square hoops. I can use this to hold the excess fabric around the edges, right? I can just slip it on there and it will hold the fabric in place. That's my theory anyway. We'll see how it works out for us. You get 10 of them. Also could be used in your planners, journals. I mean, it doesn't have to be just for hair. They're big rubber bands, but they're also nicely covered. So I picked up those and that is it. That is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you enjoy and you go out and find yourself some treasures as well. All right, everybody. I will talk with you later. Bye.